What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we're going to be doing one of my old school transformation videos. I used to do these all the time, but it has been a minute since I've done one, but I feel like we are quite overdue for like a little spring slash summer transformation. This is basically like the quickest way to glow up for spring and summer. I don't know if it's me being pregnant or just like the winter uglies, but like my skin, everything, I've just been feeling like a little bit down, like almost feeling like I don't look like myself, but doing this makeup routine instantly makes me feel better, I swear. Like just gives me so much more confidence and it doesn't take that long, which is major key. I used to like sit down and do my makeup for like two and a half hours and nobody really has time for that anymore. You know what I mean? It's great every once in a while, but definitely unrealistic for every day. So this is a pretty quick routine and just gives the prettiest glow up. So I wanted to do it together today. I have a mix of drugstore and high-end products in this. I kind of just, these are like my favorites, the things that I have been grabbing for most recently. So yeah, I'm super excited. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you're notified of all my future uploads. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, first up, we need to hydrate this skin. My skin is so dry. If you guys have followed me for a while, you know my love for the Dalba First Spray Serum. This is probably like my fifth or sixth bottle of it. I've lost count at this point, but they just came out with a new product. This is their double layer revitalizing serum. So it's basically kind of like the spray in like a supercharged serum form. So you want to shake this up before you use it. It's a mixture of plant derived oils and the white truffle serum. So you just want to get them all mixed together. And then I just pumped some right into my hand. Looks like this. And then I'll go directly on my skin and this makes the skin glow so much. Also has a really pleasant scent to it and is so hydrating. So really great base for your makeup or you can also use it as part of your skincare routine as well. Then I'll normally follow it up with the spray because I love this so much. And you can also use the spray like at the end of your makeup routine as well or throughout the day to keep the skin super hydrated and just radiant and glowing. This one is newer so I've used this for the past 10 days. So far it has not caused me to break out which is incredible. This one I've used for years and together they just give the most beautiful like hydrated glow to the skin. You guys can find Dalba on Amazon so I will link it down below in the description box. I want to thank them so much for partnering with me on this section of today's video. They're 100% vegan, clinically tested for irritation and are going to offer your skin 100 hours of moisture retention which is crazy. So like I said, I'll link these right down below in the description box. If you want to check them out, you can find them on Amazon. Okay, let me zoom you guys in a little bit more. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but we're filming in natural daylight today. So you guys can really see just like how everything works without studio lighting, which I love to do from time to time. Um, let's jump into makeup. So recently I have been reaching for the OG. This is like an oldie, but a goodie. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. I love this because it has SPF. So like as we move into the warmer months where we're spending more time outside, this is great. Obviously use your own SPF as part of your skincare as well but it's great to have a little additional with this and this one does have zinc so it's a mineral SPF which is nice normally I always grab for my beauty blender like y'all know that but recently I've been using this brush it's from Tarte and like there's no name on it it literally just says Tarte so I'm gonna find it on their website um, and I'll link it down below I'm assuming it's some sort of like kabuki brush but this really blends out foundation or really any like liquid product so well and I never in a billion years thought that I would be like a brush foundation girly and here I am using this brush like it just gives such a good coverage and like spreads everything out so quickly so I've really been liking this and it works really nicely normally once I kind of buff everything out with the brush I will go in with a dampened sponge and I'll just pat and roll a little bit just to make sure there's no like brush strokes or anything but you really don't get that with this and this has been out forever and I just recently like started using it and I've really been liking it. Okay, now with my concealers, I've been a little bit annoying, admittedly, recently. Um, so don't feel like you have to do this, but these Makeup by Mario concealers, these came out, I don't know, maybe around six months ago and I don't love them on my under eye area because they're self-setting. So they're a little bit um, like drier almost where on my under eyes, I have to set with a powder. Even if I use like a self-setting concealer, I have to add a powder because it really just helps to make sure there's no creasing throughout the day and smooths out this area where I have a lot of texture. But on the rest of my face, especially as we move into the warm months, I don't always want to set my whole face with a powder. So these have been incredible as an all over face concealer. I just don't use them on my under eyes. That's the only like annoying part is using two different concealers, but these really are good. They're the Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer. So I'll just go in and kind of spot conceal. The Cosmetic CC does have like a lot of coverage, so it's not too many areas, but anywhere that like I'm breaking out, I have extra redness, whatever that I want to cover up, I'll go in with that concealer and it gives a great coverage and it will self set. So you don't have to worry about setting with a powder if you don't want to use the powder all over your face. And I've really been liking it. And then for my under eye concealer, just the OG Tarte Shape Tape, y'all already know. I love this stuff. I always have, it's just really, really good for the under eyes. It lasts on me all day, doesn't crease. 
and it's just my fave. A lot of people think this concealer is drying. I personally don't. I don't have an issue with it on my under eyes. I've always used this, always liked it. So everyone's preferences are obviously different, but this is just my OG fave. Okay, for the face, I've been loving these little dibs, like sticks. I'm newer to dibs. I know I'm really late on the wave. Like people have been loving these forever. I'm newer. This one in the shade Pink Cosmos, I really like. So basically they have like a contour on one end. So I'll go in and contour my face. Normally I just do like those areas. Sometimes I'll do a little chin, so I'll do that today for you guys since we're hanging. And then there is a blush on the other side, which I'm gonna use, but I like to blend out my contour first. And then I'll go in and add blush. These come in a bunch of different color options. So um, there's a bunch of different like, you know, contour and blush combos that they have, but this one has been my most used. Blends super easily, which I like, just really melts into the skin. And the contour is a bit more on the cool tone, so really gonna give you that like chiseled, contoured, look okay now for the blush side this is where it really gets me this is just like the prettiest pink blush it's so perfect for like spring summer i love a bright pink blush and this is just one of my faves just like the most perfect pink i love okay now like i said i always have some my under eyes with something and i love this laura mercier powder i feel like i've talked about this non-stop it's the translucent loose setting powder the tone-up version in the shade rose this is super blurring and brightening, which is why I really like it, but it's not a drying powder. So I just go right in underneath my eyes and on my eyelid and set that whole area with this. It just instantly blurs. So, so good. And then I'll normally take whatever is left on my brush and just kind of do like my T-zone area. And then I kind of just let the rest of my face breathe instead of going in with an all over powder, but I like to set the T-zone just so we're not too glowy. All right, now let's get these brows in place. For my brow pencil, I'm using the Lawless Shape Up Soft Fill Brow Pencil. The shade is Oak. Um, this is a really nice brow pencil, but you guys know I'm always gonna tell you like when to spend the money and when you could probably save the money. There's a lot of really good drugstore brow pencils. Um, I don't know if this one is just like revolutionary, but it's the one that I have been using and have right now. But you can get a really nice eyebrow pencil for a cheaper price, to be honest with y'all, but I just do a baseline on my brows, just like the underneath like that. And then I'll go in with the spoolie side, and just kind of blend it upwards. Then I've really been liking the Patrick Ta. This is the clear brow gel. And I'll just go through and run that through my brows, fluff them up a bit and get them how I want them. My brows are on the thinner side. So I normally fluff mine like pretty much straight up just because I don't have like really a lot of brows. So this is the way that makes it look like they're like as thick as they can be, but you can do your brows however you please, obviously. And then I'll normally wait a second to let that dry. While I do that, I'm going to go in with this blush. This is the Catrice Cheek Lover blush. It's really, really pretty. The shade is Blooming Hibiscus. It honestly reminds me a lot of like Nars's famous blush. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on my cheeks just to set and give us a little extra blush love this okay brow gel is pretty much dried it literally takes like 30 seconds then i go with the tart diy brow pen and i just go in and draw on little brow strokes like that just to fill in my brows i really like doing this instead of like going in with a pencil and kind of like creating like that more blocked brow look for my brows this looks a lot better so this is what i do sometimes i can go a little overkill with this and i feel like i did that today so i'm gonna just like stop myself <laughs> because this is a little bit darker this one is the medium brown i normally use the lighter one but this is just the one that i have right now and i feel like it looks a little harsh we're gonna roll with it because sometimes i definitely go overboard less is more i feel like when it comes with that product but it does work really well so i'm just cutting myself off now <laughs> all right now we're gonna go on to the eyes now many days i literally just go in with mascara and that's all i do in the eyes and call it a day today i'm going to show you the little more like extended version where i spend like three-ish minutes on my eyes putting some eyeshadow on if you have a couple extra minutes to spare for that this is what i like to do i want to show you like the full version but there's a lot of days where it's mascara and we keep it moving so up to you and how you want to approach it but when i want to do eyeshadow i have been reaching for this makeup by mario ethereal eyes palette so much this is so pretty i think let me look because they don't even have this at sephora anymore because it was like limited edition i think though that it's on the makeup by mario website so let me see because this is such a pretty palette okay yes it's in stock on the makeup by mario website i really really love this i love all of makeup by mario's like eyeshadow palettes his master mattes both the new neutrals one and the original are some of my favorites this one i really like because you get 
get a mix of both the mattes and the shimmers in it. So you kind of get the best of both worlds, which I love. Um, so this is the one I've been reaching for so often. So I want to show you the quick little eyeshadow look that I do with this. I start with this shadow right here, and I just buff this into the crease as kind of a neutral transition shade. This one has a little bit more of a warmer undertone to it. That's the good thing about this palette too, is that it's a mix of both warm tones and cool tones. Um, so again, you're getting kind of the best of both worlds and a little bit of everything with this palette, which is nice. Then just using that same brush, I jump in with the more cool tone shade and I'll work that into the crease as well, just to kind of like neutralize. So we have like both the warm and the cooler tones. I kind of like to mix them. And neither of these shadows are too dark so like they can definitely be kind of made for like a night out look, but they could also be worn during the day, depending on like how smoky you wanna go, you know? And then I'm gonna take that same cool tone and work that on the lower lash line and just buff that out. Now this is the star of the show for all over the lid. I use this shimmer right here and I just put it on my, with my finger and it's so pretty. It's not like the most pigmented shimmer, but like the way that this shines is just so, so pretty. And whenever I wear this eyeshadow, people are like, oh my God, I love your eyeshadow. And I'm like, thank you. It almost gives like a wet look to the eyes, which is interesting, but it's not like a wet formula or anything at all. It's strictly powder, but it's just like a shimmer without being too much. Then I use this lighter shimmer and I put that in the inner corner and right beneath the brow bone. And that's all I do for eyeshadow. It's quick, it's easy. It really doesn't take a long time. Obviously like I'm talking through it now, so it may seem like a little bit longer, but I do that in like two or three minutes normally. And it definitely does add, you know, more emphasis on the eyes, which I like. I'm going to go in and curl my lashes just using this Tarte lash curler that I've used for so long. I love this. And then as you probably could have guessed, the Milani Anti-Gravity Mascara. Love this stuff. So I'll just coat my lashes with that. And now normally if I didn't do eyeshadow and I was just doing mascara, I just do my upper lashes. But when I do eyeshadow, I always feel like I have to do my lower lashes too. So I'm going to coat the mascara on the lower lashes as well. All right. Mascara is all done. Now you can obviously add full these two to this if you want to today i'm just gonna leave it as is with just mascara but obviously do whatever makes you happy now for highlight i have been loving i mean i've loved these basically since forever um since they came out but these are the rare beauty highlights this one in the shade exhilarate they are just so pretty so i'm gonna add that to the tops of my cheeks like look at that glow Ooh, they really give the prettiest glow almost forgot liner cream gel liner from ColourPop. this one is in the shade honeydew like a little neutral liner this will help to open up the eyes but it's a lot less stark than like a pure white and then for the lips this combo is so good and it's all drugstore so it's a hard candy um insta pout lip liner the shade is first move oh this one is like completely done but i do have another one love this i just go in and line my lips with this and once i've lined them the really cool thing about this is on the other side of the liner there's like this little brush so I go in and just kind of like blend it out. So the liner kind of blends into my natural lip tone. And then I skip lip color entirely and just go in with this lip gloss. This is the Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper from Milani in the shade Luminoso. It is so pretty and it smells like mint. So it's gonna make your breath smell good too. Like it's just so stinking good. And that is everything you guys. What do you think? It was honestly, I feel like I talk a lot during it. So it makes it seem like it may take longer than it does, but I can do this in like 15 minutes. Um, really doesn't take a long time and comes together really, really nicely. Just like a quick little glow up, you know, when you want to feel good. I will link everything that I used down below in the description box, including the white truffle serum and spray that we started with. Love these. I'll link where you can find them on Amazon as well as everything else that we used in today's video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.